Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. The Rock and Review is catching up with Grammy Award winning bassist and composer Stanley Clark. Stanley, thanks for joining the show and uh, <clears throat> congratulations on this Spread a Smile video that you've been working with uh, Chick Corea and 60 international artists, over 10 million views. How incredible is that? Yeah, it's an amazing thing, man. It's good to be here with you, Eric. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to talk to me. Yeah, it, it was a wonderful thing. Yeah, myself, Chick Corea, Mark Isham, the great film composer, and, and David Campbell, great conductor and musician and composer and everything. We put this together with many artists from all over the world uh, to do this because, you know, in a time like this, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's really important to keep your... Uh, you know, to keep your, your chin up, as they say, as the English, say, you know. Uh, so, it, you know, we, we thought we'd do something that would give people a great feeling, a great feeling of um, that it's not all, like, bad. There are, there are some bad stuff. People right. Die, but, you know, this was something to give people a smile, you know, and, it's, and it, was, it worked out great. And over 10 million views, that's, that's tremendous. That's tremendous. Well, you know, and I know also that this goes to uh, – benefit the uh, Prevention Resource Center also, Stanley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, Prevention Resource Center is, uh, is a, that's a, that's a, a tremendous uh, resource center. I mean, one of the things it does is it, it uh, provides people with free downloadable information on how to stay well, uh, you know, proper hand washing, social distancing, as well as a PSA uh, that educates people on staying well. And this is this, this, this is important. For something like this, education is very, very important to see, see you know what works and what doesn't work. And, and, uh, and so that's what this, this does. Well, and like you said too, Stanley, it's such a positive message and, and you're such a base icon to where, you know, uh, the Miles Davis Award, you know, two honorary doctorates, you know, and, and it's so fascinating to me, you know, the first time I got to see you live here in Nashville, yeah. was when you were playing with Return to Forever. Yeah. But you've done so much with the uh, with the Stanley Clark band as well. Yeah. And even when you did some stuff, uh, you know, with uh, SMB, with Victor. Yeah. You know, based out of here in Nashville. <laughs> hey, Vic, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, like, it's such an inspiration, you know, and, and some of our viewers may not realize this, Stanley. They only know, you know, your bigger body of work and everything you've accomplished. But you started out playing accordion went to violin and then ended up at bass. Yeah, it, it was it was an odd thing. You know, uh, my mother sang opera, you know, semi semi pro opera. So she was she was uh, she was really the, the music lover in the house. And she out of my, myself, I have a younger brother and an older sister. And somehow she must have recognized that uh, that. Wow. Stanley music. And so she really, she really provided me with this support. She was a great, great person. That uh, and so down the street from our house was a, was, you know, in those days they had neighborhood music stores, and in these stores, they usually there was a guy in there that that uh, taught music. So my, I remember she she walked me down there. I was I must have been probably nine years old. Or something. And so she walks me in the store and I see these things. They're accordions. I don't know what these things are, man. <laughs> and she just hands me to this guy. I go in his back room. He puts this monstrosity on me, this huge accordion. And believe it or not, I can play accordion. Wow. And so it's so, you know, I took lessons probably a little over a year and went in there. And, and, uh, and that was the beginning. And, you know, I, I just fell in love with music. You know, I just, uh, I love to listen to my mother sing in all these strange languages. I thought she was, I said, what is she saying? This is, I don't understand what she's saying there. You know, she was singing in different languages. And, all. Yeah. and, uh, and then eventually I started playing violin, had a short career with violin, maybe a couple months, and an even shorter one at cello. And then eventually there was a bass in the corner in the music room in, in, in school. I was probably 12, 13. And no one would pick up this instrument. Like the, the bass, the acoustic bass, the bass drum, and the sousaphone, no one would pick it up. So what I, so, so what I did was I played sousaphone in the marching band. 
and and you know and I and I picked the acoustic bass because it looked beautiful on it. So I grabbed it, and my quest in life has been to make the acoustic bass sound beautiful. And that's 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 my story. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you, and you're such an inspiration on so many levels, Stanley. Including, you know, you have a bass that is in the Smithsonian. And I was telling you earlier before we started the, the interview even, you know, every time I'm at a NAMM show and I see you, it's like swarms of people are trying to stop you and get a picture and an autograph and everything. But your body of work extends beyond the base. I mean, you look at, you know, your record label that you launched, uh, you know, and, and also what you've done, you know, with, with composing for TV and film. It's, yeah. it's just, uh, you know, what, what a great body of work. And you continue. You were telling me you've got uh, new videos you're working on now. Yeah, well, you know, right before this pandemic uh, was announced, um, we filmed about six episodes of a new show that I'm doing, which is called All About the Bass. And this is a, this is a little bit different. It's, it, it, it deals with gear, like special gear for the bass. You know, the bass, um, uh, there haven't been a lot of things that were created specifically for the bass, more for guitar and keyboards. But there's some really interesting things that maybe a lot of bass players aren't aware about, guys that have invented things specifically for the bass. So we do that. I, I, I interview, like, bass players, some of my favorite bass players I recently did a great interview with the bass player for Earth, Wind & Fire, my old friend, uh, 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 Verdine White. Oh, uh, what a talent. Uh, and then I also did an interview with Jack Cassidy from uh, Jefferson Airplane, yeah. you know, and, and he goes way, way back. And what a tremendous interview that gives you a real look and a glimpse at rock and roll history going back, you know, before Woodstock and all that sort of right. stuff. He was there and everything. And so... It's a, it, it's, it's a great thing. We also have performances. We're going to live stream a, a, a side thing from that. We're going to, because we have a, a studio in my place and we're going to do, you know, so we're going to live stream some young bands, also my band. And right. so we're planning to do that because I, I feel that uh, when this is done, this pandemic, uh, one of the things that that's going to sh uh, sort of rise is uh, doing things online, live performances. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we're going to do do quite a bit of that. So we're planning that. And this show is going to be great. So we're home now, like, editing the show. We have six right. shows that we're working on. It's fun. It's fun. Well, and, and I, I want to ask, too, Stanley, where will the videos be available, you know, so that uh, so that viewers can go find them and download them, watch the live streams and everything? Yeah, it's, it's looking like a YouTube. Uh, okay. Uh, but that could change. We, we were thinking... We're trying to, we're in the process of getting the right format that's going to enable people to access it. Because this is this is the kind of show, like if you look at episode one, uh, there's a lot of uh, sort of philosophical things about being a musician, education, and you're not, you, it's not a show you just watch once like a television. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to look at it again. Again, there's instruction, there's things, I'm playing the bass, showing things it's, 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 it's really nice it's really different it's uh i don't think i've seen any show like this having to do with, with the bass and all about the bass everything that like the bass is it's an interesting instrument it's a it's a very powerful instrument in a, in a, in a band you know and so everything that has to do with that uh we're, 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 we're talking about it so it's great. well you know and i'll tell you what stanley you know you have brought so much credibility to the bass as a standout instrument and as a solo instrument and with your unique style. Well, I want to bring up too, you know, uh, the scholarship that you and your wife have continued to do as well. And uh, what a great way, another way to give back to young musicians that you've done every year since you founded that. Yeah, that's a, that's a really uh, a beautiful program that actually my wife came up with the idea. She, she just one day, I, I, I think we're in our, 15th or 16th year i'm not sure i've lost track but you know we've given a lot of scholarships to a lot of uh kids uh to, to for higher learning in music and and it, it really you know uh, we were doing it years years and years and years and and, it, and and just the sort of the payback culminated in this i was in a, a restaurant one day and this a young uh, girl came up to me in sophia and was just like thanking us. And we're trying to figure out what is, 
she, she started out with just a thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're like, oh, you know, and then finally she said, you don't remember me. I was one of the, uh, one of your, your scholarship recipients, you know, and, wow. she, and she just happened to have her album in her, in her bag. I made an album and I'm playing and uh, I did a short tour in Europe. Thank you so much. And, and so that, that, that made it for me. That made, made, made my day. And, uh, so we, we keep like plugging along with it. And, uh, and it's a it's a wonderful thing, man. You know, music education is a is a, is a wonderful thing. It, it's and it's nice to help people. So we're gonna do we're gonna skip this year, uh, obviously, but next year we're gonna make a really big one, uh, two years in one. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, and, and I got to tell you, Stanley, it's such a great way, as you have done in so many ways, to give back to the music community and helping out those people. You know, young musicians to get more education. I want to make sure our viewers know also with your website, social media, everything, where should they go to find you to check out the new videos coming, uh, virtual shows with the Stanley Clark band, everything you've got going on, where should they go? Yeah. Well, there's stanleyclark.com. Uh, you can also find me on, uh, Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. Instagram is Stanley Clark and, uh, and on Twitter it's, uh, Stanley Clark as well. And then I'm on Facebook, obviously. So I'm, I'm fully, fully covered there. And so, yeah, come on out and join in the conversation. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, congratulations again on being a part of Spread a Smile with your buddy Chick Corea and 60 other international musicians. And uh, what a great cause with that as well to, to help out with the Resource Center and everything. I, I think, you know, uh, you're just one of those guys such a gifted musician, Stanley, but it's great to see how you continue to give back. And uh, thanks for joining the Rock Interview. All right. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 